Frack is dope though. I think he's he's one of the more like slept on battle rappers for me. You know what I'm saying? Because he's so multi-talented, man. He can do it all. Like I've seen him angle you to death, you know what I'm saying? That ring, you done made jokes about you and that thing, and just and it still hits, you know what I'm saying? I just think, you know, sometimes people catch on late, man. But I've been a fan of him for a while now. I didn't spend too much time on one angle because Geechee Gotti is just such a effervescent, multifaceted person. Maybe a genius, I'd say. He has a photographic memory. He, uh, he's, a, he's a crit from Compton, but he's an incredibly kind natured dude. Really funny guy, and just a great battle rapper, man. He's, he's got dope music, too. He's got a lot going for him. The nicest, we're in Brooklyn, make some noise. Yeah. Uh -huh. Highly anticipated heavyweight matchup right now. Battler to my left, introduce yourself. Big Geech, Loma Gotti, Geechee Gotti in the building, man. We here every fucking bar. Let's get it. Yeah. yeah. Battle rapper to my right. What's up? It's Frack the Person. Shout out Make a Wish Foundation for making this happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys decided who's trying to, you know, go first or whatever? I got it. I'll go first. No, I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Damn, that's nice of you, bro. That's yeah. love, bro. So, yo. Hey, salute, bro. Salute, man. All right, we're starting. <laughs> <laughs> first round. It's on Geechee Gotti. Nigga, you a bit too nice for me to have anything bad to say. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you got my flight out here. Even chose the hotel that I had to stay. Decided to Uber me to the venue so I didn't have to pay for a cab today. I even offered to give you the money back and you was like, Gotti, that's okay, I can't make this up. Remember that time I robbed you? <laughs> <laughs> You actually showed up to my crib the next day with more of your things because you felt like I ain't take enough. <laughs> that nice. I wasn't even supposed to be on that Drake card, but Smack owed you so many favors that they just gave me looks. Man, thank you, bro. Because after my wedding, I remember you flew me to France for a trip, took me out to dinner. I seen you leave the waiter your credit card as a tip. You the man. You the shit. You basically Jim Carrey if he was close friends with a crip. You spit that hot shit. I mean, hot enough to make a brother milk. You told me you care about me more than you care about your fucking self. Yeah. That's why you ended Danny's champion of the year run, just so I can win another belt. Ah. Ah. I mean, what more can I say that I didn't say? You didn't even get Rob versus Disaster. I seen it a different way. You asked the judges to pick him so a 19-year-old kid named Saint from Inglewood can win 50K. Yo. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? They say you got that cop skin. I don't believe them. I think criminals see you ride by, they look at your back seat and just hop in. In battle rap, you top 10 and you not 10. You much more. You on my real friend Mount Rushmore, because you told me, Gotti, if I didn't have a bitch, you let me fuck yours. And when yeah. it's real, y'all can tell. Y'all can see it in his eyes. Your turn. See if you can be this nice. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Round one, it's on frack. <laughs> hey, he called me Jim Carrey. Y'all probably thinking, Frack, you a fraud. But I am Jim Carrey and Bruce Almighty. Cause I just found out a black dude is God. Hey, I'm not saying this cause it's compliments. I'm not saying this cause you my brody. But you the greatest battle rapper ever. Fuck Gotti, you Geechee Goaty. Yo! Show him the shirt, bro. Show him the shirt. I already own this. I didn't make I already own this. Fire. You Geechee Goaty. C-O-T-Y. Every year you win a trophy. You told DNA his name should be Gary. Motherfucker, your name should be Cody. Homie, battle rap was all East Coast till Geeks changed his shit. Took everyone's Mount Rushmore and rearranged his shit. Carve his face in it. And even though the East claimed this shit, you made it your home. And now you got the West moving like Pete Davidson. I'm thanking him. 
Cause when it's real, cause when it's real, you can tell the shit's inside you. He's such a gangster, he could reunite the Crips and Pyrus. They try and talk about a tree to say you didn't fight who? Man, I watched that video back. That tree hid behind you. Yo. <laughs> Not to mention these violent fires that have the climate desolate. You were protecting that tree. He's an environmentalist. Wow. And he wins, he wins everything. Drake gave you 75 bands, then booked you again and got you more bags. You got more money from Drake than child support has. You, 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 you could have had, that's not that nice. Hey, you could have had the whole, he could have had the whole 150. But my man split it though. Then he went back to Compton and dropped bands with his folks. Gave toys and food to homeless too. God damn, really bro? That's the day you inspired Drake to make the God's Plan video. You feel me though? He's generous. There's a new sheriff in town whose gun bars are metaphors for his generous style. One day Geechee found me depressed on a couch. He said the code word nutty block crit. What that mean? That's the password to my Netflix account. He's generous. <laughs> I said he's generous, even after all the numbers that you did with Lux. He's generous, he's cripping, but he at the hospital, giving blood, fuck it, pocket check. That shit feeling like a million bucks, fuck it, heart check. Damn, that shit is big as fuck, the jig is up. Hey, hey it's big, it beats. The jig is up. Man, man, you, man, you's a friend. You took me. I said, man, you was a friend. You took me to the hood, made sure I was never violated. You was a friend. We went to the club, you made sure I was hydrated. You was a friend. You was a friend. He took me to the gym, and he's my spot too. And he helps me lift it like, nah, bro, that was all you. You was a friend. You was a friend. You always checking up on my mental health. You was a friend. Like, you can't love anyone until you love yourself. You was a friend. When I look at you, I see the realest one alive. Cause when the friendship is real, you can see it in his eyes. Pause. <laughs> Oh, Round two, we talk Gucci Gotti. Heart check. <laughs> Pocket check. Back in the day, I would have snuffed you, man. <laughs> but something changed. Here's a hundred bucks, man. <laughs> Keep the fucking change. God damn, bro. Chill, bro. Nah, man, you Chill. deserve that shit, man. You do. You deserve that shit. You do. I know you small, but you do it big like you was born in Brooklyn. I seen you on Sway in the morning cooking. Ain't nobody touching you, your metaphors, your bars. I'd literally name my crew every fucking bar because of you, fact. You untouchable. It was weird energy in the building, but you made all of us comfortable. I seen you over there giving Marv a belly rub and even fed him a Lunchable. <laughs> For real, your flow clean as a white tee. You love your girl so fucking much she never cheat on you. You're nothing like Mike P. He's not, you're not, you're nothing like him, bro. You love your fucking lady, bro. Love her too fucking much. She'll never ever do that, ever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You so organic, you really just a rare breed. I seen you punch a battler in the, cause he was all in the chick's face talking smack to her. See, that was cool, but I knew something about him that's cooler. You actually took Jazz the rapper virginity and gave it back to her. Oh my God. Back in the day, I was one of frack shooters. What? Yeah. <laughs> but he gave my job away to Dunce and Lex Luthor. Thought I was your gunner, <laughs> frack. Thought I was your gunner, frack. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm done with that. Let me look in this camera and tell this girl, make sure you have a son with frack. Cause based on your genetics, obviously y'all gonna have a doctor, a scientist, or some kind of NFL running back. Every girl that ever left you, they always come running back. You the reason shotgun should no longer fat cause you meal prep his food and make him do jumping jacks. Nigga, those is, those is fucking facts. <laughs> If anybody got a problem with frack tonight, I'm in the coat form. If a politician say stop fracking, I don't vote for him. Because you remember, 
I'm the same crib, the one you used to bang with, let the flame rip, back in the day on that gang shit. Thanks. Out of everybody I hang with, you the only one that give me name flips. <laughs> for real. <laughs> because before I start battle rapping, it really wasn't no hope for me. So you start hitting me with them gangsta ass third rounds. So make sure Jay Black and the rest of the champion panel this year don't vote for me. I'm dedicating all my belts to frack because you the one who ghost wrote for me. And when it's real, oh, y'all can tell. Y'all can see it in my eyes. Your turn. See if you can be this nice. Right. Let's go. Right. Round two. Right. Can't be that right. nice. You can never be that nice. Yeah. Can't be that nice. I'm gonna put a good effort right. in. Let's Fight see. Back. You said I took Jazz virginity and gave it back to her. You did. I admit it. It's true. But since you about to fuck her up next weekend, I'm gonna give it to you. Yo. <laughs> And the $100 you gave me, I'm investing it too, for you. Hey. That's a good investment, I know that, that's dumb. They got Frack the Person versus, man, you's a bitch, Magnet. <laughs> you know what rhymes with Geech Gotti? Beach body. You six pack. <laughs> he, brought, he brought women to battle rap events. I was like, wow, when I seen it. They lined up to see Geeks. They all bow when they meet him. Even on IG, it's likely he getting clout from your BM. They be like, yo, Gotti, it's going down in the DMs. Oh, yeah. hey, but you a motherfucking loving husband. This is not just a fling. All the flowers you bring her. My God, you're a king. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. The day you battle Lux, you went to your girl and got on one knee. You gave your beloved a ring in a box. The same day you put beloved in a box in a ring. King. Oh, yeah. King. And I know for a fact, you be clapping it daily. No pause. He in there three rounds like he trying to have her a baby. The man shoot his shot like a Magnum 380, so I got you this pack of Magnums you could have with your lady. Yeah. <laughs> and I brought some extras, cause I know this fool's stamina crazy. Yeah. Hey. I got an extra. I got extra. That's true. I brought an extra cause I know this fool stamina crazy. Enough's enough. When he fucking his lady, he always fuck it up. Doggy style all the while. He hit her with that double pump. He grab her by the hips. She get another nut and another nut. It looks like his champion belt won't buckle and he trying to buckle up. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Hey, Geechee's the biggest gangster in the West. We all know that it's true, but still make white people feel safe. They give you glowing reviews. Cops see you and take a knee like nobody move. White ladies cross the street to get closer to you. Man. And the riot is a league that Gotti pioneered. But you were activists against the pigs like Anamanapia. On one hand, you protesting all these cops in riot gear and got everyone on the West copping riot gear. But as, a, but as a dad, you want a higher tier. And I'm not talking about you battle rappers because he started y'all career. I got some exposing to do. Ooh. See this What's file that? in my hand? It's not what it appears. All those champion awards, what they forgot about is here. The NAACP awarded you father of the year. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's Talk about the wrong A award. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong A award. That's a fact. You're right, I do got more stamina than you. So when you gave me these condoms, that was a straight flex. I started to give them back to you but I want you and your girl to have a baby, so I'm not promoting safe sex. Let's go! Oh, wow. Come on, man. Oh, I'm gonna raw. do that for you. All raw, I'm dog. That Straight raw, dog. That's it, man. Straight raw, dog. He needs a kid. I ain't never smelled good credit before. <laughs> what is that? 800? <laughs> what is that, 800? I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, you stay stunning. I heard in Oakland they print money with your face on it. So many girls out there walking around with your name as a tattoo. This dude literally walks through strip clubs. The strippers stop dancing and throw their money at you. That's a fact, too. After this, I don't want to hear nothing except let's go to the bar, and I'm asking you, what are you drinking? Cause all day I've been chilling with you, peeping your swag, and it got me to thinking. Nigga, you was a cool ass white boy. <laughs> you probably don't got a racist bone in your body. Nigga, you was a cool ass white boy. Earlier you was bumping your Gotti. I mean, nigga, you was a cool ass white boy. 
all the stereotypes, he be superseding. Nigga, you's a cool ass white boy. I went to your house and the food was seasoned. Oh. Nigga, you's a cool ass white boy. That's a fact. My mouth's Peruvian. My mouth's Peruvian. That's a fact. Nigga, you's a cool ass white boy. I asked for help with my credit and you fixed that shit. Uh -huh. Nigga's a really cool ass white boy. He said in high school, if I needed him to shoot it up, he would've did that shit. Oh. <laughs> you are really a cool ass white boy. Telling you, bro. You went to the best schools. You ate the best food. I don't care about having you around with my gun on me because I'll give it to you if the cops come because I know they won't check you. I respect you. Not because you white, bro, but last year you helped me save a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. All right, though. You really just a nice man. I knew if I lost my arm, you literally cut yours off and give me your right hand. Fuck that. Don't nobody call him white around me. This nigga's light skin. <laughs> Hey, yo, Smooth! Yes, sir. Now that's how you talk to your white friends. Yeah. And when it's real, y'all can tell. Y'all can see it in his eyes. Go ahead, see if you can be this nice. Look at Tom. Round three. So a crack. Let's get it. I feel fucking excellent right now. Thank you. <laughs> hey. His crew's called the Mafia. They break all the rules. The gang take your brain and they make gabagool. Geechee making gangster moves like bang bada boom. Y'all remember John Gotti? He was named after you. It's true. You see Geechee pull up to the Lux battle? Looking like Jesus Christ leaving Compton. Leading 300 crips in a battle like Leonidas. I'm Jewish, but y'all really the chosen people with Geechee's guidance. Looking like Moses with a stick and a seize behind him. Remind him. Got biblical for you, Saga. That was for you. They looked down on gang culture till Geechee did it, and now it's cool. Now everyone pulling rags and throwing signs is power moves. They see the respect you get and want to be as down as you. That's why every battle rapper started cripping out the blue. You influential. People see you, they want to be you. They soak it up. I show my Jewish mom your battle. She's like, damn, cuz, that shit was hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> on me. On me. On me. <laughs> Damn, cuz. You're the battle rapper that my mama loves. She said, invite the whole crip set. Call him up. You could be an honorary Jew if you want it, cuz. It be your honor, cuz. Why the fuck you think they call it Hanukkah? <laughs> cuz? Hey. 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 Teach me something. Teach me something. That's Bruh. <laughs> they try and put. Listen, they try, and put you, they try and put you in a box just because you FaceTime, but you got too many lanes. You cross over like AI. His song slap, his podcast, the guy has no stage fright, and every time you want to ruin your day, you make mine. You're a great guy. And everything you went through to get here was very fucking hard. Private prisons, a racist system, trying to tear everyone apart. You got out of prison, went on a mission, and came very fucking far, and used what they tried to hold you back with. What's that? Every, every fucking, fucking bar. bar. Nah. Everything these battle rappers rap about, you faced in your life. But everything you survived, you claimed it in stride. You took the grapes on a vine and made it to wine. You turned your anguish to rhyme. You turned your pain into pride. They gon' study your third rounds like Shakespeare way down the line. Nipsey looking down proud on every stage that you rhyme. See, everyone makes these compliment battles about sexual adventures. But I wanted to make this genuine so the respect is remembered. They left our ancestors in the desert like Nebuchadnezzar. So let's toast to the fact we here making memories together. Shit, whatever the weather. Time. Man, Fuck a time limit, man. Our friendship's forever. Yeah. 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 The nicest. That was Geechee Gotti yeah. versus Crack. Make some noise, y'all. Yeah. 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 I never did a compliment battle before for one. And then two, it was just like, I, mean, I don't know how they gonna receive it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, usually you see compliment battles and you're like, all right, man, these dudes is like, I mean, they probably don't know that me and him is good friends like that. So I know people probably like, this, this is weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, how's this gonna come off? So like, that's not what I'm like, I don't know. But like, as I just, once I got up there and got comfortable and we just going through our, our emotions in there, he's saying his stuff, he's saying my stuff. I'm like, all right, nah, this, like, you know what I mean? Like, we definitely, this actually feel like a real battle, but a compliment, you know what I'm saying? Like, the actions was genuine, it wasn't no forced, like, applaud right now, like, it was genuine, you know what I'm saying? So it was dope, it was dope. Yeah, man, I was nervous because I had a battle two weeks ago. This fool's got two battles in the next two weeks, yeah, so I can't nice. even be talking, but 
that type of um, preparation was tough for me. I usually take a whole month to battle, and I was like feeling iffy about my material. But as soon as like our chemistry and like the, the comedic timing of everything happened in the ring, like it just felt supernatural, and it was like awesome. Like let me really get you some flowers. Like let me really mm -hmm. say some stuff that's dope, and then kind of make it uh, like what I tried to do different as well was let me try to like still be what I would be in a regular battle. Let me still yep. give some of the you were still the aggression, and still be geeky, right. and then just add some of the comedic timing in there with it. You know. Yeah. It, it was kind of intentional. We like I was in LA for the Danny battle, and I like mm -hmm. got to do his podcast. Yeah. And we agreed. We're like, we're gonna do it different. Like, we're gonna yeah. make it genuine. That's yeah. really the word we use. Like, yeah. like yeah. we're gonna say what we feel about each yeah, other. You know sure what I mean? Yeah. And in in a way, that's less pause worthy than doing all that crazy yeah. shit. Like, actually being real. Like, yeah, I want to so. pamper you with my words. <laughs> Album's coming out soon. Lumagadi. Y'all make sure y'all y'all tune in for that man when the dates drop. Man, run that up. It's gonna be on all platforms and everything. We got a dope rollout for it. Closing. Like I'm just working. Man. But, yeah. I'm gonna take a battle rap break. I have a lot of music to release that I've just been holding on to since ap after the Danny and Ichi this. So I'm gonna start releasing music too. Yeah, yeah. Um, got music videos coming and hopefully some more skits too. Thank you for putting yeah. this on, man. Shout out to the oh, nicest. You already know the <laughs> nicest, bro. This motherfucker is handsome as hell. You have one of the greatest minds. You influential. People see you, they want to be you. They soak it up. I show my Jewish mom your battle. She's like, damn, cuz that shit was hard as fuck. <laughs>